is your baby. Give her the baby. Stop it. No. Stop it. Get out of here. Stop it. Get out of here. Stop it. Get out of here. Get out of here. Casey. I'm Lainey. This is Hot Girl So Smooth. <laughs> I'm Emma and we're the Smoots. I'm Bethany. This is my dad, Ed, and then my mom, Rose. I'm from Utah County. I'm the birth mom. It was 4th of July and we we're all sitting at the dinner table with uh, the boyfriend's family. And I'm like, oh man, I just don't feel good. And so I got up. I'm like, oh, I gotta go to the bathroom. And I puked like nine times. Then his mom came up to me and was like, you need to take a pregnancy test. I'm like, oh no, I don't even want to think about that. And so I took the pregnancy test, two of them, and they both came back positive. We had the first two. And then Emma got pregnant about a year and a half later. After Lainey. After Lainey. And then she had a miscarriage about, what, four months in? Yeah. And we both <laughs> felt like and turned to each other, felt like we needed to adopt. And that's where this all started. So adoption popped into my mind because my mom was adopted. And I just kind of had the, like, a prompting that this is what I needed to do. I looked at a couple other books and just like, no, no. And then I looked at the, their book, I'm like, this is, this is them. I, it was a solid, like, I don't know how to describe it. It was just very prompting. I didn't expect to have that kind of relationship with the birth family, and so it was pretty special for us. And I got the opportunity to be um, to be in the hospital, and um, the fact that Bethany would let me be there is um, something I will never forget. And it was super duper spiritual, <laughs> like tears were flowing. <laughs> About a week after he was born, we came and we visited here. By the time we had arrived home, she goes, Mom, I had the feeling this is their baby. So that help has helped her immensely getting over the pain yeah. of giving up a baby. Yeah. You say hi. We decided that we were going to surprise our family and everybody else. There was a Super Bowl party, so everybody was there. So. We handed Hawk off to them and went to the party and just were hanging out for 15 minutes talking to everybody when they showed up at the doorstep and knocked on the door. And uh, we got to bring Hawk in and surprise everybody. And to see the emotion and the excitement was amazing and uh, something we will never forget. What I really wanted to do was surprise my mom and dad. Um, and after he was born, it had been a few days and I just thought, We've got to get to Wyoming or figure out how to get to them. My sister called and said, You'll, you won't believe that they're coming down here tomorrow. We showed up to there to meet with them, and uh, I just had a picture of his little feet. You know. Happy birthday. And then Casey walked in with Hawk, and um, um, <laughs> this is Hawk. Thank you. You got a Hawk. <laughs> His name is after my great-great-grandpa, um, Grandpa Hawk. I think the one word to describe it is spiritual. Yeah. You recognize it by the peace. There's peace. It's just a miracle. I was going to say the same thing. It's a miracle. Through birthdays and broken bones, I'll be there to watch you grow. I get to be. As a teenager, I moved to rural Montana. I had a 4-H advisor who taught me all I needed to know. And one day in her office, she showed me a video of a lady named Stacy Westfall riding her horse at Liberty. No bridle, no reins, doing a reining pattern at top speeds with her horse with nothing on her horse. And I just remember my jaw on the ground watching this lady ride her horse at Liberty. And that stuck with me my entire life. 
I got involved in hypnotherapy. I'm a clinical hypnotherapist. And when I wanted to name my, my hypnotherapy business, I decided to name it At Liberty because who doesn't want to be free? Free within their own mind, free in, their, in your own lives because there's things that hold us back. We're all dealing with something. And I wanted to help people experience life in a freer way at Liberty. When we finally got connected and it became real with Hawk, it became so clear to us that this is what we need to do to help adopted children and foster care kids in any way we could. We have the horses, we have the animals. Our hope is for this ranch to be dedicated to these kids, these foster kids, these adopted kids, and these birth moms who are seeking healing, who are seeking peace. Um, we want them to come interact with the horses and discover the lies, discover the things that bridle them up in their lives, that hold them back, bind them down, and we want them to, through the horse and through Jesus Christ, experience peace and healing. Hi, I'm Sid. I'm a board member here at the nonprofit organization at Liberty Ranch. Adoption means a lot to me. I've had a couple of siblings that have been adopted, and I wished that a resource like this existed for my siblings um, who were adopted when they were younger. I know so many families, including my own, that have been touched by the miracle of adoption. It is not something that is always easy for people. It does not always bring peace, even though there are moments of that. At Liberty Ranch provides opportunities for children to have those moments of peace, to feel at liberty, to feel in control, and to be able to release those frustrations um, or some of those anxieties and worries that they have. If you're interested in more details about At Liberty Ranch, please follow us on all of our social media channels. Experience the connection. That gives you the freedom to, to heal, heal from, from the, the inside, inside out. out.